Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to cheese Kaiju Katsu in Rise of the Ronin. So, start off by just firing your shots off at him. This is going to give you a little bit of an early lead with the damage and aiming for the head obviously as that's going to give you a bit more damage and will also maybe stagger him as well. I would recommend bringing Parage Swords to this fight as the fast ability to use these weapons will be very useful here. So. I'm just using up all my ranged weapons here just to get some extra damage in. But the trick is to use the Paralyzing Whetstone. I'm using Katana here, but as I said, the Paired Sword works best. This is going to cause him to get really easy to parry, and unfortunately I got hit there, but you can also paralyze him with this. So I would recommend using this because it does make this fight a whole lot easier, and we purchased right before this boss fight, so I would recommend always purchasing the Paralyzing Whetstones whenever possible because they do make the game a whole lot easier if you get stuck on any type of boss and you want to be able to use it for yourself. So be mindful he does attack pretty quickly so the parry time is back fast, but be mindful he does throw the bombs like that too. So he'll heal himself when we're midway through the battle, so you do have to take consideration that he will heal himself, but I find that the paralyzing whetstone gives you enough of an advantage because it'll take him a lot slower. And even though my main character got wiped out there, I was still able to get a victory here just by using Again, a poison whetstone is also pretty nice to have. So it's going to deal damage over time if you're able to apply the poison element to them. But getting the critical hits whenever you can will make this fight a whole lot easier. And then you should be able to take down Kaiju Katsu and Rise of the Ronin. Hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button below.